Oh shit, we're launching. Uh, starting recording now. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect 2. And there it is. Um, like I was just telling the stream, I am unsure uh, exactly how long the stream's gonna go today. Uh, because next week, uh, I will not be streaming. Uh, I've got stuff going on, so I will not be streaming. Um, so there might be, it might not interrupt any sort of YouTube schedule where it would have normally Monday, Wednesday, Friday would have a video coming out, um, which would mean then I would have to double up today or I end up doing three streams or three videos today and we just don't do anything next week. But that will have to be something that I decide later on. Um, yeah, if I remember correctly. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Okay. Anything else, Commander? That'll We're good. Be I'll be here if you need anything. What do I have going on? Yeah, Codex. Nope. Join all. Um. So I need to do that one. So I need to go back to Ilium, actually. Um, which is not in this system, it looks like. Ilium. It's over here. So then I have to do all the... Uh, loyalty missions... Then I will. I can do the um, I'll do the loyalty missions. Then I have to do the the thing that I have to find for the ship in order to make it through the Omega Four relay. And uh, is there anyone else? I, I'm not sure at this point. Hopefully, I have the DLC too, because the DLC is interesting. Look at, look at, look at all of them. Uh, give me. Give me Thane and Tally. Um, we're good there. All right. Uh, I don't think I need to talk to her. Commander, a pleasure to see you again. Can I help you with something? Nope. Thank you. Have a pleasant visit, Mills Astra, Commander. Uh, I believe at some point I'm gonna have to. Maybe I have to head back to uh, Omega. At the very least, I think I would like to go back there. Same. Very few Corians ever set foot here. Ilium doesn't allow the flotilla to approach beyond a certain distance. This is the greatest planet in the galaxy for those who can afford it, and they work hard to keep the Quarian fleet away. And Thane's was twenty-five. Cell at twenty-five. No, no, okay. No, I spent the last two years here. I had a purpose, a goal. Now that I've accomplished it, something occurs to me. In all that time, I never looked at the horizon. It is spectacular. Yes, it is. Uh, Alright, let's check, because I remember there was a biotic thing in here. Biotic damage this. upgrade. Tech damage upgrade. Cool. Six of six for biotic. Are you shorting? Uh, all right. Why not? I believe. Are you the one? Listen, I... what is it? I'm in the middle of an important call. This might be worth putting your family on hold. Here's that data you were worried about. Is that the Carosa Generational Archive? Ah, 
I am so sorry for being rude. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. Why is this data so important, anyway? It's a genetic history for the entire Carosa family. It's used for high-level reproductive negotiations. It would be like a human pedigree, I suppose. Without it, you're bargaining from a greatly weakened position. Losing this would have hurt my family for generations, maybe even destroyed it. If this data is so important, why didn't you have backups? We did. A rival family introduced a computer virus, and our techs were sloppy. The virus destroyed all our data. I just spent a fortune getting the data recovered and reconstructed when Nasana went crazy. We live in a world of infinite data redundancy. To lose something so important because of one crazy Asari? There's your data. I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I, I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. Thank you. Cool. Um, that concludes all of the side quests that I have. Now, oh, I gotta do Garrus's too. On the Citadel. Uh, so that's Citadel. That's, um, okay, cool, I do have to go back to Omega anyway. And Thanes is on the Citadel. Okay, so what I will do, let's do Samara's first at the, um, wait, can I fast, I forget if I can fast travel. Uh, I don't think I can. Um, go to, so get Samara's done at Omega, and then we can double up on Thane and Garrus at the Citadel. But first, let's see if Liara's got anything. Oh, you were there just a second ago. Shepard, it's good to see you again. So, what can I do for you? How's your own work going? I'm still waiting, still hunting. The Shadow Broker can't hide forever. Losing the Observer was a step backward. But someday the Shadow Broker will slip up, and I'll be there. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Bye, Liara. Discipline, teamwork, confidence. When you join the Blue Suns Mercenary Group, you're getting a crash course in life. Join today and find out about our incentive program. How can you short sell on PFAPs hmm. after these human colony attacks? Recruiting for Blue Suns. Nope. I was trying to see if there was a, uh, a quick button to go back to the Normandy. Return to Normandy. Yeah, like I said, I'm not sure how much game is left. I mean, this will probably at least take... the Let's see, the two loyalty missions... Um... I don't know. Three loyalty missions. I don't know if I said two or not. Uh, there's like four main missions left at this point. Uh, mass relay. Time to go to Omega. Which is up here. That's, there's the Omega-4. I could skip it, but one, I didn't know the button to skip, but two, I uh, I would rather look at that than this. So, I 
Come on, Samara. Uh, and Tally. with no real privacy and the people don't work together toward a common goal there's no sense of family here just fear so i heard a human went into the plague zone then i found out about a lot of dead vorcha down there you know anything about this dead vorcha no don't know anything about that uh-huh right well my job just got a whole lot easier What's your job here exactly? I'm supposed to keep the Vorcha in line. Keep them out of Arya's sight. That's about it. Not much for me to do anymore. But the way those Vorcha breed, I'll have something to do soon enough. Are the Vorcha gonna be a problem from here on out? Not as bad as they used to be. They breed fast, but they die young. As long as we keep them controlled, we'll be fine. I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. Hey. Come on, let me in. Arya's expecting me. Ugh. Again, I don't know why I really like the design of Afterlife. And it might actually just be that entryway, but I think it's really fucking cool. Arya has a job she needs doing. You up for some work? That depends on what Arya has in mind. Arya's gotten word that some blood-packed mercs plan to kill an old acquaintance of hers. A Krogan named Patriarch. She'd like you to keep that from happening. What's the blood pack's problem with Patriarch? If you've met Patriarch, you know. He can't keep his damn mouth shut. Some people don't appreciate his stories. Especially when he dips into non-fiction. What's Arya's interest in protecting him? Patriarch was one of her deadliest enemies back in the old days. Now she keeps what's left of him around as a trophy. As long as he lives, he's a perfect example of what happens when you go up against Arya. Why come to me? Arya's usual muscle nut up for the job? Because Arya said so. What other reason do you need? If Arya wants my help, she better tell me why. I'm not doing this for my health. Fine. Whatever gets you to take the job. If it gets out that Arya's protecting Patriarch, well, that can look like a weakness. And some people might want to exploit that. You're not on a payroll, so you helping Patriarch just seems like a random act of kindness. I'll look into it. Good. Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done, and you'll get your due. I'll be back when the job's done. Good luck. So that's a new mission. How about you? Do you got something for me? Or are you gonna just say the same thing? Alright. Yo, girl. What do you need? An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I start looking. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. Okay. So now I have two missions to do here as well. So... I was hoping you'd come by. I'm Ish, and this is Cell. You look like a good person to know. I can see you're trying to flatter me. 
don't. Of, of course. Forgive me. You just made me nervous, is all. You need something? Well, if you'd be so kind, I hoped you might consider a proposition. I need skilled, trustworthy people to take care of a little business for me. Nothing illegal, of course, but it's paying work. What kind of business do you do? Important business. So important that, with your help, we can change Omega. I'm listening. I'm in the information business, specifically the buying and selling of privileged material. It's nothing illicit. I just need someone to pick up packages in certain locations and bring them to me here. What's your angle? No angle. I'm a simple businessman. What do you say? I can do that. My contacts use specific drop points. I need you to look outside Merib's shop on the Citadel and inside Eternity on Ilium. Look around for anything that might hold a data package and bring those packages to me. Good luck, my friends. Fuck. All right. ago and no one seems to care the medic said it was a brain hemorrhage but that's not true it was murder someone killed my nap my baby i'm looking into your daughter's death are you one of aria's people i'm looking into this on my own authority no one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead if you can do something about it i'll help you however i can Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Morinth. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. So this Morinth did hurt my daughter? Is she the one that... that... I will bring justice to the one that did this. We swear to you, Neff will rest easy soon. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> My baby. Did Neff hang out anywhere in particular? She was always quiet working here at home. Then, a few weeks ago, she started going out all the time. To the VIP area of that club down the street. I think you need a password or something to get in there. The change was so sudden. She just seemed tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morand. I was pretty sure I hit start recording. Sorry, give me two seconds. I want to make sure that... Huh. It just stopped recording. When did it stop? Hello everyone. Who's gonna go today? Uh, okay. Weird. That only went 23 seconds. So. We get to have a fun, awkward situation when this episode ends. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My nephew. Sorry. I... She was shy, but she was creative and driven and well, the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative? How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Said her work was fresh. Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures. Everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. My baby is gone. She's gone. Thank you. I'm 
sorry. I just miss her so much. It's okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Thank you. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. We will be respectful. I'll examine her things. Okay. Beth made that. Beth went to the gallery, offered me four years' salary for it. But I never part with it. Neff, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime. Don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. Am I a freak? Morinth is a girl like me, and she's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the hallux is flowing through me, the way she looks at me with a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces. We can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vienna that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary. Cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I was sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for secures, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Close the hollow journal. This is Morin's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. And she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. Anyone who successfully hunted sapient beings for 400 years warrants caution. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. She sounds more like a highly evolved killer than a genetic defective. The condition has been present since my people huddled around fires at night. Perhaps it is symbiotic rather than a defect. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for 50 years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. You sound like you're working your way toward an idea. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. Hm. She'll come after me. You can draw Morinth out. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me, but she won't be able to resist you. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. I'm walking into this place with no gun and no backup? I will be in the shadows watching, Shepard. You will never be alone. This I swear. But you cannot barge in with guns and allies. Morinth is far too cagey. She'd simply disappear. This is a subtle, delicate act. Trust me. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. Whew. All right. Hello again. Did you find anything? Is there anything I can do to help? I should go. Bye. Remembering more commonly known as the consort, maybe leaving the citadel after years of bad press and rumors of intelligence. Uh, yes.
just starting to get a bunch of stuff that I couldn't buy on the way or buy while I was here. People come to places such as this seeking a better life. And when they get here, they find this. Vibrant people forced into destitution in a world filled with criminals. They deserve protection. If I survive our mission, I may return here. Okay. Trying to see if there's stuff down here. This looks interesting. <sighs> Buy all the shit. I have six thousand left. Afterlife's nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jarut. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. If someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. Good. However, I'm walking in with a bunch of weapons. You must go in alone. Marinth will be watching. Any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this, until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. How can I spark her interest when I'm not even talking to her? Courage or suicidal bravery could attract her. Hurt someone in defense and she will be excited. But pick a fight and she'll be bored. Show skill at working smoothly through a nightclub crowd. She will be intrigued. She'll want you the moment she sees you. The rest is just a matter of overpowering her caution. How do I convince her to take me home? She admires strength, directness, and vigor. Modesty, chivalry, or meekness frustrate and bore her. Violence excites her. You've killed Shepard. She'll like that. Getting her alone and falling under her sway. That will require careful timing. I will be near and I will come for you, Shepard. Trust me as I trust and honor you. Okay. What other things have we learned about Morinth that can help us here? According to Neff's journal, Morinth likes dancing while on a drug called Halax. Neff's journal mentioned a vid called Veyenya. It seemed to have something to do with glamorous women. Morin sent Neff a note saying she likes the Elcor artist Forta. Well, Shepard, that's everything we need. <laughs> that's a lot. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. Any mistake and Morinth will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden easily, and you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. Tickets for Expel 10. I heard this amazing Asari say they were her favorite band. I want. I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel 10 is playing tomorrow. What kind of music do they play? They're a sensory band. Like they crawl into you and make you feel things. And this Asari digs them like you wouldn't believe. I could score way out of my league, you know? You, you gotta help me. She sounds amazing. Is she here? She was here a couple of days ago talking about the band. She's here a lot. When she comes back, I'm gonna have tickets. I don't have any tickets. If you score some, I got some creds for you. You're breathing on my drink! It's hot. It's sweaty. Oh, hi. 
I need help right now, and I don't know who to ask. You're human, and you don't look high, so you're it. Can you help me out? Slow down and tell me what the problem is. Right. Slow down. Sorry, I, I just don't know what to do. My friend Moiral is doing a piece on Omega Games. She's hanging with Florid. He's the worst of the worst. What is she doing? A bid piece. She's an investigative reporter, you know? She's trying to profile game leaders. What is she doing? A bid piece. No. She's an investigative reporter, you know? She's trying to profile game leaders. Your friend could get hurt. Yeah, and she's going to. See, Florid's on her. His gang is on the way here, and they're going to make a mess of her. I have to get a message to her, and fast. You seem to have a lot of information. I'm her tech. I've been monitoring the gang's calm. The last transmission said Florence going to splatter her. Man, I'm a tech junkie. I don't know how to handle this. What do you want me to do? She and I have a code. If you go over and say two words to Florence, my friend will get the message and get out of there. The two words are terminal and eternity. In that order. Please tell me you can do that. She's going to die. I can do that. Thank you. Thank you. Terminal Even eternity. Terminal and eternity. In that order, just work them into a sentence. The music here used to be avant-garde. Couldn't dance to it, but you felt smart. Something I can do for you, lady? Is there a public extranet terminal around here? In a club? You don't have an Omni tool? That is a pretty strange question. I get by on public terminals. My Omni tool's been broken for an eternity. That's a tough break. I'm done talking to you now. Hey, Florit. I have to pee. Yeah? Hurry back, Moirol. I'm ready to head out. Bitch isn't coming back. I'm gonna find her. Oh. Well, Are you, you could here? try. You're an interesting one. Thank you so much. I really thought she was going to die. Lots of money on the good cred hunting tonight. I'll hit him in the alley. As long as it isn't one of Arya's people, we're good. We gotta get enough creds to keep Hank off our backs. Hey, what are you looking at? A pair of sad losers who think they're something. And are about to find out they're not. <laughs> Who's gonna show us that? You? You don't think she's tough. Tougher than you. You want to, uh, undo that? I'm going to wait for the, like, provoking. What'll you have? <sighs> These are good people, but they look bored. Bored people don't spend much. And you got an idea for how I could fix that? A round of drinks shows that you appreciate their business. The rep will improve and you'll make more money in the end. Maybe worth a try once. You better be right. Listen up, everyone! We love having you here, so a round of drinks on the house! My name is Morin. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why is that? Do we? Okay. Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? Do you know the artist Forta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen bids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Do you know Vayenya? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you?
I'm worried about this. Sure. I'm curious about a band called Expel Ten. They get in my head and tear it to pieces. They're in concert soon. Maybe we should go together. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that. You know. What do you think of Halex? It slithers through my soul. Seems like we share some interests. I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. is a means to an end. Power is that end. Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby and I want you alone. Fucking nailed it. Hi, Samara. Probably not. I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win just before you kill him. Yeah, okay. Um. <laughs> have a Halix if you want. But wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now? I certainly. Oh, would you, uh, would you look at this? Oh man, do you, uh, do you want some, some coffee, or something? Uh, there does not seem to be anything else to do. All right, uh, Morinth. I love clubs, people, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted, and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? I'd rather fight than hide. Yes. Better to take control of your fate. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission? I think we share that, you and I. You compare us, but you're nowhere near my league. So strong. I need this. Mm -hmm. Look into my eyes and tell me you want me. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. <laughs> um. Uh oh. I want you. I kill for you. Anything you want. Marin. Ugh. Mother, do not call me that. I can't choose to stop being your daughter. Mother, you made your choice long ago. What choice? My only crime was being born with the gifts you gave me. Enough, Morin. I am the genetic destiny of the Asari, but they are not ready to reveal this. So I must die. You are a disease to be purged. Nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. End of the line, Morinth. And they call me a monster. <clears throat> Fine. 
find peace in the embrace of the goddess. Damn. I am ready to leave this place and get on with my life. Are you ready to go as well? Do you want to talk about what happened? Shepard, what do you think I will say? What can I say? I just killed the bravest and smartest of my daughters. There are no words. I will try another time. For now, show mercy on a broken old warrior and let us leave. Let's go. I already took a walk around, so... <clears throat> Oh shit, level 20 now, huh? Um, ooh, fuck, that's a lot of money. Um, yep, so that's gonna be... So the Citadel, Citadel... Fuck. Citadel and Ilium. Uh, okay. There's one of the side rooms downstairs at Afterlife. Tell him he needs to hide. Okay. Let's do that. Um, okay. Downstairs. I'm just trying to remember how to get to. Come on, let me in. If downstairs is just this level, then that's easy. But if it's anything else, then it might be a little more difficult. Give me another big this door is probably locked. Oh, lower level's just down here. Okay. The wreckage of the first Tura lab was found on an uncolonized planet in the Dranic system. Salvage teams reported no survivors. I got him. Welcome to Afterlife. How may I serve you? Pour me a drink. Hold the poison. Oh, yes. I heard about my predecessor's little scheme. I'm very glad you survived. I've been instructed to give you drinks on the house. Rest assured that they will contain no illicit ingredients you haven't asked for. Thanks. Should taste. Let's dance. Skip, skip, excuse me. I had better drinks in the back of a garbage skin. There's a door over there, but there's also one over here. Patriarch! Just the man I've been looking for. You again. Greetings. Why do they call you Patriarch? It's like an Asari matriarch only. Oh, Get got it. Yep. Advisor. I already talked to you. Some people want you dead. I've been asked to move you to safety. Well, of course. Aria wouldn't want me. Hurt. It would make her look bad. Or perhaps Arya's reputation is no longer my concern. Perhaps I will stay. See who thinks me important enough to kill. Mm-hmm. You allow Arya to protect you like you're her pet? I thought you were a Krogan. Arya let me live. She gave me a position of honor as her advisor. She gave you a position of comfort as her trophy. Is that what you want? Or would you rather go down fighting? I wish she killed me the day she beat me. That would have been a glorious death. But perhaps it is not too late to die well. Perhaps these assassins will remember my name. Farewell, human. Thank you. Ah! 
Okay. Citadel's gonna be the next place I have to go. I'm gonna have to go. Or do I wanna go back to Ilium just to get the package? Shit. Aria wants to speak with you, Something about Patriarch taking on a squad of birth by I heard my old friend Patriarch died. Went out in a blaze of glory. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? I couldn't stand by and watch you coddle him like a pet. He was better than that. He was. No one has challenged me the way he did centuries ago. Perhaps it is better this way. You've done a lot for me, Shepard. Let me return the favor. Okay. You're sending your coordinates to a cache on an uncharted world. You want it? It's yours. What's the catch? No catch, I don't need it, and I don't want it to go to waste. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. Sounds like you and Patriarch have a history. Our history is Omega's history. Long, bloody, and always ending in my favor. The details are complicated. When I arrived, Omega was lawless, a land of opportunity. But Patriarch I think I talked to... was something different. Uh, a powerful friend. I'm surprised you were. We were it wasn't a surprise. Fortunately for me, his men had become accustomed to certain benefits. <laughs> Superior That's intel. Patriarchs, and the toughest fight Whoa, of Whoa, boy. Life. But of course I won. Do you need something else? Nope, good. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. You should find a nice young man to keep you warm in the meantime. That's all right. I've got enough warm bodies on the fucking Normandy. Alright, am I done on Omega for now? Uh, smuggle cargo... This... Technically, I need to go to other places. And then... Citadel, Citadel... Something for Tally. So I gotta go talk to Tally. I get her loyalty mission, I believe. Come on, let me in. I believe there's still more upgrades I also need to do to the Normandy. do that. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Tally seems very distraught after receiving a message. Maybe you could check in on her down in engineering. Anything else, Commander? Nope. That'll be all. It's always nice chatting with you. Uh, same here, Kelly. Joker? I'm glad things worked out, Commander. I was worried you'd dump Samara for some crazy soul sucker with a death fetish all live and sexy and... Never mind. I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Bye, Joker. Gotta go feed my fishies. Gotta go buy more fishies from Citadel. Oh no, <laughs> that's not good. Oh, oh boy.
Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Perhaps later. Trying to determine how scale itch got onto Normandy. Sexually transmitted disease only carried by Varen. Implications unpleasant. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Bye, Morton. Commander, can I help you with something? Are we bro I'm still? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. I'm good, Shepard. Ready for Wait for anything. it. Fuck yeah, we're bros. We we'll get loud and spill some drinks on the Citadel. We'll talk later. Commander. We're always bros. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna take a quick chat with Chakwas. It does not look How like there's I anything you, new. Commander. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Um, I know Garrus isn't going to say anything until I do his mission, which Commander, will be next what episode. Can I do, for you? do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Bye, Miranda. Um, because Thane is going to be the next one too, so Thane's probably not going to have anything to say. These two don't either. Samara. Morinth haunted my dreams and waking hours equally. For the first time in 400 years, I am free. I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret. But I am free. It is not a feeling I can describe. Was it worth it? It was never a question of worth, but of need. I had to take the action I did, as did she. This was never a story that would have a happy outcome. You did your duty. What about your feelings? One of my daughters is dead. My hopes, my dreams were all bound up in my children. Still, my feelings have always come after my duty. The same is true of you. You said that Morinth was a monster, but she was still your daughter. She was the strongest and smartest. She would not accept the injustice thrust upon her. She fought to the end. I am so proud of her, Shepard. Killed her for being what she was. And I would again. But I also know what it means to leave everything behind and fight. Do you realize that she went on the run at the age of 40? I do not know human years well. But it is very young for a sorry. What will you do now that Morinth is gone? Assuming I survive your mission, I am a Justicar. Injustice still exists. And perhaps even other Ardat Yakshi. I thought Ardat Yakshi were extremely rare. Asari have spread to many worlds. There are remote regions with no government oversight. If I travel to those worlds and they do exist, I will find them. There's no way to correct the condition Morinth had? We are an advanced species, but we don't have magic. When the trait manifests at maturity, it is too late for mitigation. It only occurs in purebloods like myself. Perhaps that is the root of the stigma regarding Asari exclusive pairings. I don't know. Morinth claimed that her condition was the future of the Asari race. Morinth would say anything that served her cause. Ardat Yakshi are sterile, Shepard. That wouldn't be a particularly viable future for my people. You don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my homeworld and tried to start a family. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace with that. You still control the direction of your life. I have chosen this path. I truly am at peace. Due in no small part to you. You're welcome, Samara. Um, heading down. Grunt! Shepard. Just checking in. 
How are you doing? Battlemaster, I have Fuck yeah. Clan That's all for now. Shepherd. Shepherd. Fuck yeah, Battlemaster. Um Jack, I know, does not want to talk to me anymore. Uh, I think we're just gonna go straight to Tally. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I may need your help. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. I'm scared, Shepard. Um, Nobody who knows you could believe you'd betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working with you. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy again. I have no idea what they're accusing me of. You'd think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet. What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. So you have no idea why they're accusing you? None. The specifics of charges like this are rarely discussed on open channels. I won't know any more until I get to the flotilla. What happens if you're convicted? Like I said, exile. The specifics are up to the judges. If it's deemed only a tragic mistake in judgment, the guilty party might receive a small ship and supplies. Not that it really matters. Either way, if I'm convicted, I'll never see the migrant fleet again. So, no prison and no death penalty? We don't have the spare resources for long-term incarceration. Monitored work detail is more effective. And we don't have enough people to afford executions. An exile can still have children, and those children are welcomed back to the fleet. How often is someone from the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. The most recent one was Anora Vanya Vassalani, an engineer who handed over fleet defense schematics to the Batarians. She had good intentions. The Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems. But they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. Was she convicted? No. She made a suicide run on the pirate gang. She destroyed them before they could attack the fleet. She was pardoned, posthumously. Let's hope I don't have to prove my innocence that way. So how does the trial work? How soon do we need to get you there? They'll wait a reasonable period of time for me to come and defend myself. Eventually, if I don't show up, They'll try me in absentia. As for how it works, it's less formal than an Earth trial or something you'd see on the Citadel. We're a family. This is just the worst kind of family meeting. Okay. Let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. There's not. Thank you, Shepard. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The admirals will be waiting for us. Okay. Back to the cabin. Captain's cabin. Feed the fish. Poke the space hamster. And then back to CIC, and then we will end this part of the video, which I'm going to have to stop the stream in order to do. So, for those of you who are watching on YouTube, thank you all so much for watching. I'm Blurry Phoenix, in Game On. And for those of you who are watching on Twitch, stick around, I have to end the stream, and we will be back in just a bit.